Peace and blessings, everyone. I'm Sister Bessie the Truther from WW Blog Talk Radio, also known now as WDNN. I want to tell you all, this is my book. It's been published since October the 30th. It was published, as you can see, by Writer's Block Publishing Company, LLC. But this is the thing. Brothers and sisters out there and around the world, y'all know my age. Y'all know I spoke for three and a half years. And they nominated me around the world. Uh, for uh, me speaking, and I got an award this year. So, what I need to tell you is that I have not received a dime from my book. Um, from what I found out, my book has been hacked. And there are two individuals that have hacked my book and they have made money off of my book. So they stole from me. They took my story that I wrote, my poetry, and stole it from me. They stole my money from me. As a result of this, I may be homeless. Because where I was living at, this person took me in. I took care of this person for three and a half years. His name was Ali Ahmed. So I'm left with no money, basically financially. Uh, to take care of myself. Because someone took it upon themselves to steal my story and to benefit from my story. I cannot tell you anymore, but I want you to know this is painful to me in my heart. And all I wanted to do was help people with my voice. But they stole my money and my story. And they allowed this to happen. The company that is supposed to protect my story did not. I've never done anything to anybody intentionally. All I wanted to do was help people to think for themselves. And the way I have had to live Living with people, not having my own. I wanted to tell my story to give strength to other people out there in the world. That's all I wanted to do. And maybe I thought maybe I could take care of myself. At least have a house that I could call my own. But they took my money. And they took my story. Why is people so evil out there? Your wickedness. You stole from a 65-year-old woman who all 
almost gave her life to tell you the truth. You should be ashamed of yourself. But this mother, this warrior, I'm going to take you down for what you did to me. Because you didn't want me to have nothing. You didn't want me to have not success. For me to be able to take care of myself, I had to take a break. I was targeted. I was harassed in my community. I was treated bad by people. It had me so stressed out till I had to take a break. I had to take a break for my sanity and my spirit for all these wicked people that came against me. I don't even deserve none of this. But there are people that would hurt me. They would actually hurt me. Because of what I have done and spoke the truth, they would hurt me. If you was on my last show, which was February the 4th, you will hear a white supremacist wizard say that I need to die for my words, for my voice. To heal people. And I knew that they wanted to destroy me. Well, they have in a sense. Because they took everything that I had to try to take care of myself as an elder. That was my story. It came from my heart. It came from my soul. But they stole it. They stole what belongs to me. And I haven't taken nothing from nobody. But you're going to pay. And if I have to lose my life in the process from destroying you, I will. Because you told, you took from me, you stole my life, and you benefited off my life. Y'all forgive me for crying. This is a mean and hateful world. All these people don't care about nobody but themselves. They don't even care who they hurt. If I had an evil bone in my body, it would have been came to the forefront. But I don't have an evil bone in my body. They took from me. They took my story. And took my money. I didn't even have no support in Philadelphia. I've been in Philadelphia since 1984. And I felt like I belong here. I fell in love with Philadelphia. But there were people in Philadelphia that hated because who I became, a crackhead that became a woman that spoke to the world. They hated me for it, and they tortured me for it. <laughs> oh, my God. They tortured me. <sighs> mm -mm -mm.
y'all know I'm strong. You knock me down. And I'm going to get back up. But this time, you stepped over your boundaries. You took what was rightfully mine. My My heart. My soul. And I, I will never forget this day. And I hope for every dollar that you benefited from me, I hope the universe and my ancestors make you pay for what you have done to me. That's all I have. Some blessings.